Dun, 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 dun. Yes, it's a tape measure. But that's not what I'm here to show you. Today I'm here to show you my newest little toy to play with. <laughs> Behold, we have... Dun, 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 dun. Yes, the Asus Chrome Bit. Google Chrome OS on a stick. You plug it into any TV or monitor that has HDMI and voila, you have an instant Chromebook. It's a lovely box. Gives you all the specs here. Get my coordination right here. Plugs into HDMI, full HD, wireless AC, which is better than N, Bluetooth 4, the Chrome OS, and it comes with 100 gigabytes of Google storage, Google Drive storage. <clears throat> Bunch of numbers telling you all about it, where it's from, why it is, where it is, how it is. Specs down here, the HDMI, printed with soy ink. Hmm. And the Chrome logo here. Fragile. Keep from wet this way up. Uh oh, I'm laying it down flat. Don't stack more than four. Anyways, the usual nonsense. I don't see on this box here any uh, CSA or UL. Just this CE, which has something to do with China. I don't know. Just a plain box. Plain black and white box. Picture on the front. Let's get into it and see. Ta -da. Oops, pull the tab. What happens? Ooh. Ah. Oh. Now I'm going to admit that I've cheated already. I've broken into it and I thought before I get too carried away maybe I'll do an unboxing. There it is. There is the Asus Google Chrome Bit. It's wrapped in a plastic. Like I said, I've already cheated. I've been in here already. The cradle that comes out of the top. And there it is. Nondescript. It's uh, considerably larger than a thumb drive. Power port. Uh, it uses 12 volts, not 5 volts, so you can't just plug it into a, an available USB port. It has to be plugged into the wall because it does take 12 volts. USB 2.0 on the end here. A little slot here for your lanyard if you're so inclined. Pretty nondescript. You pull the cap off, and there's your standard HDMI connector. Plugs right into your TV or monitor. Put the cat back on it here. As you can see, it's about, about yay big. Right? Well, five inches long. Inch and a quarter wide. Yeah, or so. It's got a little bit of weight to it. It's not you no know, heavy, heavy. But, aha! On the bit, chrome bit itself, there is the UL. Something to look for in products you buy is UL or CSA. So it means it's, you know it complies with certain standards for safety and blah blah blah. And the fine print here, we can read it. Eh. There's the specs for the Wi Fi module. FCC ID for the, the wireless radio. I'm not sure of the manufacturer of that. Probably Asus. It's model CS10. Yeah. See, 12 volts. 1.5 amps, 18 watts. I have a hard time getting this coordinated here. <laughs> oh. 
fingerprints. All right, back to the box. Here we have the extension cable. I would use it because the chrome bit, it's, it's heavy enough and it sticks far enough out the back of what you're plugged into that it, it could break, I suppose. This allows you to lie it flat on the surface or any way but sticking out. Hard to explain. So it comes with that. And the screen there. Pull this open. And there's your power brick. Plugs in with that. Focus, camera focus. And there's the specs. Same specs as we've been seeing everywhere else. 12 volts. Eh. <laughs> I'm having a hard time getting coordinated here today. But you get the idea. It plugs into the wall. And then it plugs into the chrome bit. Cord. What do we got here? Here we have some Velcro tabs for mounting your chrome bit or your USB hub. Since there's only one port on there, you might want to use a hub depending on what kind of peripherals you want to plug into it. Uh, they suggest a powered hub. And you can use these little tabs here to uh, mount the hub and or the chrome bit to the back of your monitoring device. And then the usual paperwork. In search of incredible safety information. What to do, what not to do. It's all in English. One language. This stuff here is all in multiple languages. Declarations of conformity. And just stuff. Because I'm in Canada, there's the Canadian Department of Communications statement. The usual requirements for all things digital and or wireless. So that's the safety information. Quick start guide. And like, you know, pictures. All, uh, words are all in English. I'm surprised it isn't French as well. More declarations of conformity. That's pretty much, you know, how to plug it in, where to plug it in, why to plug it in. Comes with that. And your warranty card. And that's about it for what comes in the box. Pretty basic, pretty simple. This, this is your Chromebook. Make any monitor, anything with HDMI input into a Chromebook. Myself, I'm a newbie to the Chrome OS, so I'll see what's in store for me. Being a uh, Windows mostly. Whole new animal to learn. So there you have it. That's my unboxing of the Asus CS10 Chrome bit. When I get it all hooked up and set up and running, I'll do some more review, but for now, this is my unboxing. I will learn the Chrome OS as I go.